Rich Rising, happy Wednesday. Today we are talking about two habits hurting your sales and you're guilty of it. <laughs> so these are two habits that are hurting your sales on Instagram or in TikTok and you're guilty of it. So you want to go ahead and shift what it is so that now you're seeing the increase in your lead generation and the increase in your sales. So as you are joining this live today, I want you to go ahead, grab your notebook, grab your pen, take note, take action, make some money, honey. Why? Because action takers are money makers, not time wasters. We're going to be together today for about 45 minutes. I'm going to be dropping a lot of gems to help you to increase your sales on Instagram or TikTok. So if you are an experienced business owner, a coach or an entrepreneur, you're selling a high ticket program, right? So your, your offer could be 2,500 or more. Then this live will help you so you're selling it on Instagram or TikTok. If you are a serial entrepreneur, you started one successful business, two successful businesses, and now you wanna add a coaching program and start using online marketing to reach your audience, then this live is going to help you and if you're an entrepreneur you've been in business for about one to three years now and you know that there's a calling on your life you know that you've been called to social media so that you can make an impact but the videos that you're putting out right now doesn't seem to be reaching anyone then this live is for you because we're going to show you how you can put out your content in a way that's going to make an impact income and let's be real some influence okay honey <laughs> so thank you all for joining me right now i want to take some time to shout out all of our business owners who are on the live so if you are a business owner go ahead and drop the name of your business in the chat so we can shout you out we got about 11 people on TikTok live three people on instagram right now the numbers are just going to keep on going up so if you are a business owner go ahead drop the name of your business in the chat so we can shout you out you never know who's on here who's in need of your services hey christina how you doing we got the career coach in the building what other business owners do we have you never know who's in need of your services and um, who's looking for you. So now's your opportunity to drop the name of your business in the chat so we can shout you out. Hey Yvette, thank you for joining us. We got DNA Fitness in the building. What other business owners do we have? As we go into this topic, two habits that's hurting your sales on Instagram and TikTok. This is how you can fix it, right? We're gonna show you how you can shift that in your content. So now you're actually reaching your people. And as you're writing the name of your business in the chat, I want you to take some time to tap, tap in on the screen. So hit that like button, start tapping in on the screen if you are on TikTok, if you're on Instagram. Why? Because the more that you like this video, the more that TikTok pushes it out. So show some love, start um, liking the screen so that more people can come on and join us. We're gonna be dropping a lot of gems to help you to increase your sales on Instagram and TikTok, right? Here's the other thing. I'm gonna be a blessing to you today. And I want you to um, be a blessing to someone else by hitting the bottom right arrow and sharing it out. All you gotta do is hit the bottom right arrow and share it out with 20 people in your DMs so that now you don't have to hoard the information to yourself. You get to be a blessing to them too. I know that there are other business owners and entrepreneurs out there who can benefit from this. So if you can think of someone, hit that share button. Awesome. So we got Christina in the building. She said, I'm the virtual six-figure mom. I work with ambitious women to help them gain career clarity and earn six figures. Come on, honey, while working from home. I love that. And that was so clear. I just love how clear Christina was. Any other business owners do we have? We got uh, Jason with the Dream Livers Club Inc. I love it. Oh, is it Dream Livers? Dream Livers Club Inc. in the building. We got Bold Nutrition Consulting LLC. Natanya Love. Hey, Natanya, how you doing? Any other business owners in the building, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and shout out Christina because I really love how she shouted out her business. So notice that I said, any business owners, drop the name of your business in the chat. And we had some business owners drop the name of their business in the chat. But here was Christina. She took it a step further. She didn't just drop the name of her business. She said virtual six-figure mom. But then she went into, I work with ambitious women to help them gain career clarity and earn six figures while working from home. She let us know who she serves and she lets us know the transformation that she helps them to get. How, was that clear for you when I read that? Did some of you go on here and did some of you hear me say that and go, wait a second, I need to click on Christina's profile because I need help with that, 
right? That's how clear we want to be when we are on social media. So I know I was asking for your business name, which is awesome, but I want you to think about, does your business name really let your audience know how you serve them? Because when people are on Instagram and TikTok, when they're just scrolling, scrolling through content, they're scrolling through content to benefit themselves. They're looking for how can this help me? So the clearer you are when you are presenting your business, the more likely you're going to increase your lead generation and your sales. So bravo to Christina. Uh, Christina is actually one of my star students, okay? Sis just completely took the coaching and ran off, ran off with it. Her business is successful and continuously growing, right? So I just really love that she took the time to write that inside the chat. Let's see. We have Jason says, um, you missed. Pen Powers Club, those are two of my businesses. Okay, Pen's Powers Club and Freedom Academy. Got it, got it, awesome. All right, so today we're talking about two habits that's hurting your sales on Instagram and TikTok and how you can shift it, right? So what are these two habits that's hurting your sales on Instagram and TikTok and how we can shift it, right? So um, who am I? I'm Shamar Starcox, TV producer and content coach. My goal is to help you create binge-worthy content that increases your lead generation and your sales so that now you are taking your business to the next level, making 10K months, 15K months, and 20K months. That's what we show you, how you can use Instagram and TikTok marketing so that now you're increasing your reach and your sales. So today we're gonna be talking about two habits that's hurting your sales on Instagram and TikTok and how you can fix it. So I want to share this quick story with you as we go into these two tips, right? I remember when I was um, I was interning for a production company. Now, this production company was not paying us. So this is back in the day when you worked in television um, as an intern. You didn't get paid for it. I think today now they got to pay you. You get college credit or whatnot. So I wasn't getting paid. However, I remember being in a space where I was so frustrated because I was growing, but I wasn't really where I wanted to be yet. Anyone ever been in a position where you are growing, but you're not where you want to be yet? And it's absolutely frustrating. Am I the only one? Well, you're in a space where you're like, okay, I know I'm on the right path but I'm not where I want to be yet. Whether it's you want to increase your income level, you want to increase your influence, or you just want to be in a whole other career, right? Yep, right? Okay, I see some of the me's coming in. So that's where I was. Yep, Natanya says yes. That's where I was, right, as an intern. And so my friend says to me, why don't you shoot a short film? And I was like, shoot a short film? What do you mean? Now let me give you some of my background. I graduated, I graduated with my bachelor's degree, but the school I went to did not have a film department. So I took a scripting course just once. I had a couple of English classes that, a lot, that did some, some type of film, but not a lot. So here's my friend telling me, why don't you shoot a short film? But I didn't have any trained experience in writing scripts or even shooting films. And I was just like, no, 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 no. And the only reason why I said no is because I felt intimidated by the request. Any of you ever been in a space where you now have an opportunity to do something big, but you feel intimidated? Some of you, that might be your opportunity right now. You have your business and you know that Instagram and TikTok is going to be the fastest way for you to reach your audience, but it feels intimidated. Any of you ever been there? That's where I was. I had this opportunity to do something amazing. But I felt intimidated because I didn't feel like I had the skill set. So here comes this imposter syndrome starting to come through. But I decided in that moment, you know what? I have a vision. I have one vision. And the vision was how the film will end. And so I took that one vision. I said, you know what? Let me at least write the script. So I took some time and I wrote the script. I probably wrote the script out in a couple of days. And when I was done, I went back to my friend and I said, hey, I got a script done. And he said, great, it's time to hire the cast. I'm like, what? We really about to do this? Now, here's the thing. My next step wasn't revealed until I took the first step. So I could have stayed in fear and intimidation, feeling like, oh my goodness, but how do I do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Anybody ever been in a space where you're overthinking what to do? Like, you know, I want to be on social media or I want to start this business or I want to take my business to the next level. That's the great idea. But then 
your mind starts to go into overdrive. You start overthinking all the steps that need to get done. And then because of the overthinking, you don't take the one step that's going to take you to the next step. And but I, what I realized in that moment, yep, Christina wrote analysis paralysis. What I realized in the moment is that when I just took one step, the next step was revealed. And so when I finished writing the script, my friend said, let's hire the cast. So now there we are. We're hosting a casting call. I, I probably only did one other casting call before in my, in my life at that time. So we did a casting call. Now we have a cast. People actually showed up. We have a cast. Then I thought to myself, we need crew because we can't do this by ourselves. Right? Like I could try to shoot the film myself. I could try to uh, do everything myself. But would it really be successful? Are you in a space where you're ready to take your business to the next level, but you're doing everything yourself? You're working with your clients, you're doing the social media, you're writing the emails, you're trying to collect payments, and it's absolutely exhausting. That's because you don't have a team. And so I recognize if I'm going to be successful, that I need a team. So what do we do? We, we uh, hired a crew. Now, when I say hired, I mean we bartered because I was working at this internship and I had people who were interning with me. So we came to an agreement where I will work on their projects and they will work on my projects. Look at that. Now I had a crew, I had a cast, and I had a script. And I ain't never shot a film before. Well, I never completed a film before, I should say. So here we are now. We have these three things. What's the next step? I guess we're going to need money for the film. I tell my mom what project I'm working on. She goes to church and she starts to fundraise for us. I'm like, what? She starts to fundraise for us. She starts asking people, hey, can you donate to this film? Next thing you know, we have $500 to create this film. How did I go from, I don't know what I'm doing, to we have people working on the project, we have a finished script, and we have money? What? You've ever been in a space where you don't know how it's going to work out, but you keep walking anyway? For some of you who are like, how does she get that done? Because some of you are in a space right now where you have big dreams. You want to take your business to the next level, but you're not moving because something is keeping you stuck. What kept me going in this process was having my community, having my team, having a mentor to tell me, hey, we got to do this next. So now we have the crew, the cast, the film, the script, and the money. We choose one weekend in October to shoot the film. We get the film done. Now, now we have the videos for this project. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jason. We have this film. And this was a time where I didn't know how to edit. So some of you are probably like, wait, what? If you, if you know me, I know how to edit now. But at that time, I didn't know how to edit. So we have a completed film, but we need someone to put the whole project together so it could be uh, completely finished. And I remember going on this website called Manny.com. It has since changed. And I saw a production company was looking for films that they can edit for free. You can't tell me God didn't give me no grace. This was a brand new production company in Tribeca in New York City, and they were looking for films to edit for free. And so I went and applied, and you guess who they chose? That Can somebody write favor in the chat? Guess who they chose? Because they were like, oh yeah, we'll edit your film. Let me tell you, when you start to take the steps, God will reveal the rest of the steps, and he will send people along the way to help. There I was not knowing what to do. I don't know how to shoot a short film. I don't know how to uh, write a script. I don't know how to hire cast and crew. But by faith, I kept on moving. And because of that, guess what? They chose my film, they edited it. Now we had this completed project. So what was next to do? Enter it in film festivals? I guess so. We got into three film festivals. And that film got me into uh, got me into my master's program. Can we cheer that on? We got into three film festivals. I went from 
I don't know what I'm doing to we are now in film festivals. What? I mean, it was the happiest day of my life when I got to invite my friend, family to a film festival for this film that I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't even have the complete vision of what was going to happen. But by faith, I just kept on walking. Why am I sharing this story? Because you can do what you put your mind to. You can do what you put your mind to. If you want to grow your following, if you want to increase your leads, if you want to increase your sales, if you want to increase your engagement, you can do it as long as you decide, I'm ready to do this. How many of you in here, you were like, you started your business because you saw that others were successful in their business. You decided, let me use social media because you saw how much money people were making on social media. And then when you started doing it, you started feeling discouraged because your views were low, engagement was low, and now you're convincing yourself, maybe social media just isn't my way to go. Some of you in here, you're experienced business owners, and you're accustomed to word of mouth marketing. You're accustomed to getting referrals. And now you're like, I want to increase that. I want to expand. But something inside of you was like, ah, I feel a little bit intimidated by social media. What if people judge me? What if people make fun of me? Hey, Felicia, how you doing, honey? Right? And so hearing this story lets you see that if you decide, you know what, I'm going to do it. It's going to happen for you. Why? Because of your determination and your motivation. But not only that, having a mentor and a community. If you're in a space where you're like, I want to grow my following. I want to grow my engagement. I want to grow my leads. And I want to grow my sales. We want to help you. I want to invite you to our five-day challenge. It's called Convert Content to Cash. And in it, we show you how to use your content in a way so that you can increase your, expand your territory. You can reach the audience that you were called to reach. If you're not sure what content to post, we show you what content to post every day of the challenge. So if you're in here, you're like, that's something that I need. I need that for my business. Then I want to encourage you to click the first link in my bio and join us in the challenge. The challenge is only for five days and in it, you're going to learn how to create the content that increases your lead generation and your sales. Now, here's the thing. When you click the first link, it's going to show you to schedule a call with me or my team. This call is a call um, that is that it is not a sales call. This call is a way for us to get to know you and your business. Why do we do this? Because the general admissions for this challenge is at no cost to you. It's complimentary. It's at no cost to you. But we want to make sure that we're working with business owners who are experienced. So that means you already have a business running. You already have a customer base and you have a proven method to help people get their transformation. That's who we're working with. And now the only thing that you need is how to use social media in order to increase your reach. How to use social media in order to increase your lead generation. If you're in a space like that, then go ahead and click the first link in my bio so we can help you. Schedule a call with me or my team. We want to make sure that the content that we're teaching in the challenge is relevant to you. If you are on Instagram and you're like, I want to join this challenge, then go ahead and type challenge accepted into the chat. This only works on Instagram. Instagram is the only way that we're able to just go ahead and send you the link directly. But on TikTok, you'll have to click the link in my bio. Hey, Brittany, how you doing? It's been such a long time. Um, Jason, no, this is not just for women. It's men and women. It's for experienced business owners who is looking to increase their reach, their leads, and their sales on Instagram and TikTok. Um, Yvette says, that's just what I did. I started my business because I don't want to work for nobody else. Come on, Yvette. That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. And now you're in a position where you have the product. It's ready to be sold. You just need to the marketing. Once the marketing is in place, you're good to go. All right. So today we're talking about two habits that's hurting your sales and you're guilty of it. So how can we shift this? 
What exactly are these habits that's hurting your sales on Instagram and TikTok? And how can we shift it? That's what we're talking about today, right? And so I want to share with you what this first habit is. What this first habit is. Now, some of you are probably thinking that this that if you could produce better videos, you'll be able to convert. Anyone on here with the mindset of, man, if I just create better videos, I'll be able to convert higher, right? Or some of you are probably thinking, if I could just grow my following, I can convert, right? If I can just have more people follow me, I can be able to convert. If I have a thousand followers, if I have 10,000 followers, I'll be able to convert. Anyone with that mindset? Or some of you may be thinking, if I could just have more views, if I can get a thousand views, if I can get 5,000 views, then I'll be able to convert. Anyone thinking that, right? But let me tell you this, none of those things matter. They help, but they don't matter because those aren't the things that's what's hindering your sales or those aren't the things that's um, um, stopping your sales. The two habits, and I'm gonna go with the first one, the first habit that's actually getting in the way of your sales, right? Yep, Christina said, I definitely used to think that. The first habit that's getting in the way of your sales is actually trying to be perfect. Trying to be perfect. Something inside of you keeps telling you not to post your videos because you don't look a certain way, your video don't look a certain way, it don't feel a certain way. You must have shot that thing a million times. Who am I talking to right now where you keep telling yourself, I'm going to shoot these videos and you must have shot it a million times and it's sitting in your drafts folder. It's just sitting on your phone. That's perfectionism coming through and that perfectionism trying to make your content perfect before you post it. Yep, Janae said, Janae said, I called her right out. But Christina, at least you post it, right? That perfectionism is what's truly hindering the sales. Why? Because now you're not doing the one thing that's going to get you noticed. I want everyone to adopt this mindset. I'm going to give you a new mindset. I want you to adopt it right now. I want this in your soul. Why? Because once you understand it, you start to do it. When people see me, they pay me. One more time. When people see me, they pay me. If you don't post the videos, people won't see you. You ain't going to get paid the way you want to get paid. Now, some of you, you're already making money in your business. The goal is to increase and to expand. So that means when more people see me, then I get paid more. But if you allow perfectionism to hinder you from posting, how they gonna see you? How they gonna see you? You're going to remain in your head with all the ways that you can help people, all the ways that you can transform their lives and not actually share it with them. Now, here's the thing when it comes to perfectionism, what a lot of people don't realize is that the root of perfectionism is fear. So the question is, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid is going to happen when you post your videos? Right? Let's see. Janae says, you call me out as soon as I scroll over to your live. God is coming for me today. Oh, he did that on purpose, honey. Right? Christine, yes, when people see me, they pay me. That's what Christina wrote in the chat. The root of perfectionism is fear. So what are you afraid is actually going to happen when you hit post? Now, some of us, the fear is I'm going to be judged. Does anyone have a fear of being judged? You put the video out there and now people are going to make fun of you. You put the video out there, people are going to judge your background. You don't like the way your space looks. You think everybody else is going to see it and judge you. Now, I had a client where she experienced something similar. She had joined our five day challenge and she said to me, star, I don't do video. That's she said, I don't do video. And I was like, girl, you joined a video challenge. And on the first day we gave her what to do. She did it reluctantly. But by day three, sis was taken off in the challenge. Why? Because she conquered the fear of what was hindering her. You want to know what her fear was? She didn't like the way she looked on camera. So what we did was we gave her tips on how she could present herself in a way that blessed her and her audience. And then she ended up taking off. 
Let's see. Janae says, I'm scared. I'm not going to get views being judged. Um, Janae says, definitely my space is my insecurities because I don't have my own space. Janae, I know exactly where you are. I was in a similar position when God told me to start creating content full time. This was back in 2020. And my space was overcrowded. I mean, I didn't even realize we had boxes in the corner. We just had too much stuff. Like what you see now is after years of shifting my space because I've been shooting so long. But when I first started, we had so much stuff. I used to have to move everything before setting up. I used to have to move the boxes, move the stuff out, move the clutter out the way before I could even set up the lights to shoot. And it was exhausting, frustrating, and annoying. Enough for me to be like, this is too much work to start shooting videos. But I knew I had a calling on my life. And some of you are listening to this right now because you have a calling on your life. You know that you are being called to reach thousands of people. Now, some of you just got scared when you heard thousands. But I'm going to tell you right now, don't nobody comes to social media to reach one person. I know it's cute. When people say things like, oh, if I could just reach one person. But the reality is you, specifically, who's on this live, hearing my voice, wasn't called to reach one person. If you were, you wouldn't have been on social media. You would be going door to door. Here's a, here's a reality check. Jesus himself wasn't called to reach one person. If he was, he wouldn't have came from his throne in heaven to this earth. He came to reach thousands. When we say things like, if I could just reach one person, that's us settling because we don't believe in ourselves enough that we're going to be able to reach the people that we are called to. But the reality is you were called to reach thousands. And that's what social media is going to help you to do. But you got to overcome the perfectionism. If you allow it to fester, what's going to happen is you're going to have lots and lots of content, but no transformation. What do I mean by that? You'll keep shooting the videos and saving it, but the people that you are called to transform won't be transformed. They won't even be blessed because they won't know that you exist. So yes, it's great. You may have a successful business. You may have been able to bring your business to $5,000 a month, $8,000 a month. But when it comes time to increasing and, ex and expanding, social media is going to help you to do that. Let me see. Janae says, um, and it doesn't help that my house is constantly loud and I can't focus. Janae, you may want to try shooting outside. I don't know where you live, um, but I live in New York and it's summertime now. So what I do is I go to the park and I shoot. So you might want to try shooting outside. Just script some videos and go shoot outside. They may, that may help. Hey, Ray Star, how you doing? Um, today says I have 100 videos unfinished literally because of my insecurities. Come on, honey. Come on, honey. It's Kansas City, Missouri. I can imagine that it's starting, it's getting hot or it's already hot. So you might want to go shoot outside. But here's the thing. You don't need to shoot no more, Janae. You already got the content. It's time to hit post. So I want to give you this tip that I give to all of my clients and my audience. Pray over your videos. The 100 videos that are unfinished, pray over every single one of them. I want you to just lay your phone out, put your hand over it, pray over the videos. Why am I saying to do this? Because um, in Ephesians 6, Paul says to put on the full armor of God, right? And oftentimes we think putting on the full armor of God means just putting it on us. But actually, we need to put it on everything that we have birthed and created, right? So if you created these videos, you birthed them, you want to pray over it, put armor on the content, and then hit post. Why? Because when you pray over your videos and you tell it where to go, tell your videos you need to reach these people, then it's going to do that. You want to put protection over it so that the enemy doesn't try to shoot it down and then make you feel discouraged at the same time, right? So these are some of the strategies that we show you inside the challenge. Why? Because um, although we don't only serve Christians, we don't just serve Christians, we do serve a lot of Christians, right? And we do teach Bible marketing strategies because we recognize that the regular strategies such as hopping on trends, posting three or four times a day, going live every day can be exhausting and not really yielding amazing results. 
So one thing that we do teach in our challenge is Bible marketing strategies. We show you what Jesus did to grow his following and convert his followers into believers. We show you what he did so that you can be able to do the same thing. And one of the strategies is to pray over your content so it can reach the people that you want it to reach, right? And this can help to release some of the fear. Here's what I'm here's what I here's what I'm actually saying when it comes to perfectionism and these two habits that's hurting you from from increasing your sales. Social media is 80% mindset, 20% skill set. I'm going to say that one more time. Social media is 80% mindset, 20% skill set. As I mentioned before, some of you are probably telling yourselves, "Man, if I'm able to grow my following, if I have better content, if I have, if I have, if I have, that's just the 20%. The 80% that's really missing is the mindset. The perfectionism needs to be broken off so that you can be influential enough to increase your income and your impact. Why? Because there's a calling on your life. You have been called to, for greater you have been called for greater. Like who in here has been called for greater? I want you to drop a me in the chat. Who in here has been called for greater? Like you didn't just start that business to create generational wealth. You started that business to make an impact. And you started that business to leave a legacy. You started that business to help people's lives be transformed. The money was appealing, yes. But what makes you feel fulfilled is the amount of people you're able to help and the thank yous you get for showing up. If you're in here and you're like, I want to be able to get out of my own way because I'm sabotaging my own business. I want to get out of my own way. Then I encourage you to join us in our five day challenge. In this challenge, we're going to show you how to get unstuck so that now you're taking your business to the next level. We're going to show you how to release the fear so that now perfectionism, and I know I called out perfectionism, but some of you in here are just procrastinators. We want to show you how to overcome the fear so that perfectionism and procrastination no longer has a hold on you. Because I can see that many of you, men and women, are women and men of your word. You operate in integrity, which means you have declared things about your life. You have declared, I'm going to help thousands of people. You have declared, I'm going to be a blessing. Some of you have even been bold enough to declare, I'm going to minister God's word through my business. That's what you have declared. But the guilt is eating you up inside because you keep saying, well, who did I reach today? We want to remove that guilt. We want to help you to overcome the fear so that now when you show up in your videos, you show up confidently. You show up boldly and you show up as a blessing. Why? Because there are people who are praying for you right now. They may not be physically saying your name, but they are praying for your services. My question to you is, will you let them suffer? Will you let them suffer? Sometimes we don't recognize the true cost. Sometimes we don't recognize that if we don't show up, the people who are praying for the solution to their problem will not receive it. Sometimes we give too much credit to other people saying, well, they have a business just like mine. They'll be able to help them. But let me tell you right now, these people are attached to your voice. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and another they will not follow. It's the same for you. These people, your clients, your prospects, your leads, your followers, they are attached to your voice and nobody else's, which means they're not going to be transformed unless you show up and do it. So if you're in here, and you're like, oh, man, I don't want to pay that cost. I don't want anyone else to suffer because of my fear to show up then go ahead, click the first link in my bio, join us in the Convert Content to Cash Challenge. So we can show you how to overcome your fear, how to get out of your own way, so that now when you create your content, you create it confidently. Now here's the thing, confidence leads to cash. Come on now, confidence leads to cash. 
Why? Because when you're creating your content confidently, you're now able to reach the people you were called to. And the people you were called to can't wait to invest in you. Because investing in you is them investing in themselves. So if you're in here, this message is resonating. And you're like, I need that. Click the first link in my bio. Join us in the challenge. Schedule a call with me or my team so we can see if the content that we're teaching in the challenge will benefit you. Yes, Yvette says, thank you. You are so welcome, Yvette. Hey, Michelle. Michelle says, greater greatness. Yes, awesome, awesome. Um, yes, come on through, Jason. Jason said, I booked a meeting. Awesome, awesome. We look forward to talking to you, Jason. Okay, so let's go into the second tip, right? So we went into the first one, and the first one was you're trying to be perfect. And when you're able to let go of this perfectionism, guess what happens? You now create content with boldness. So I shared a story with um, one of my clients who had joined the challenge where um, she hated doing video. But as we helped her to release the fear of what she would look like on camera, sis took off. She, was, she took off, started doing amazing things with her videos so that she could be a blessing. So let's talk about the second tip, the second habit, right? So I know we said we had two habits. We may be able to go through three because I have a third one for you. But here's the second habit that is hurting your sales on Instagram and TikTok. Here's the second habit. You're doing everything yourself. You're doing everything yourself. You're running your business. You're running your household. You're working with clients. And now you want to bring on social media. But it seems like so much work. Who am I talking to right now? You got your hands full. But you know that in order for you to increase, you got to use social media to increase. But it feels overwhelming because you have a lot going on. Right? So let me tell you this. I was in a similar space too. Right? I'm in the process of scaling my business. So last year we hit six figures in our business. Congratulations to us. Six figures from just posting videos on Instagram and TikTok. Like, that's amazing. And now our goal is, is to scale. We want to increase our sales from not just 8 to 10K a month, but to 20 and uh, 25K a month, right? Thank you so much. That's our goal. But I recognize that the way that I ran my business last year to hit six figures was not serving me this year. Why? Because I was doing all the things. We are bringing on more clients this year than we did last year. So let me give you the story. April of this year, we decided to implement our Facebook ads. And in one week, we got 68 leads. What? One week. In one week, we got 68 leads from doing our Facebook ads. And I remember feeling so overwhelmed and at capacity. Now, let me tell you, I have a business operations manager who works with me. And both of us were at capacity. We couldn't even receive all of the leads that came our way. Talk about overflow and blessing. But we had to pretty much tell them, wait, 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 we're not ready for you. And that's because I was trying to do everything myself. I'm trying to post the videos. We got the ads running. I'm doing the emails. I'm working with my clients. And I'm also trying to have the conversations with the new people coming into the challenge. Do you know how, how exhausting that is? Some of you are like, yes, because I'm doing that right now. Only for some of you, it's family, it's business, it's career. It's overwhelming. And it's what's hurting your sales right now because you're ready for increase. You're ready to expand. However, if you keep doing everything yourself, you're going to end up on bed rest. Don't nobody want to end up on bed rest. Let me see. Alicia says, God led me to rebranding, but building has been so hard. My hands are full. Mom role, wife role. Exactly. And CEO role on top of that. Right? Alicia says, trying to get my body back and be everything to everyone and grow my brand. Lord, help. Yes. Okay. D says, over and above, we can ask or think God is good. Yes, he is. God is good and he's also strategic. Let me share this thing with you. I remember um, at, as I was in this process, 
God told me to read um, Moses' story. And I remember getting to a point in um, Moses' story where uh, his father Jethro comes to visit him. And he just watches what Moses was doing. Moses was tending to the people. He was creating the strategies. He was doing all the things. And Jethro sat him down and said, look, son, you can't be all things to everyone because if you are, you're going to exhaust yourself. What you need to do is build a team. You need to build your team and you need to appoint this person to do this and appoint this person to do this. And I recognize this is what God was telling me. But do you know that this is no different from what Jesus did? In the New Testament, when Jesus started his ministry, one of the first things he did was appoint 12 disciples to help him. You can't do it all. You weren't created to do it all. You weren't built to do it all. So my question to you is, who can you bring on as a team member? Who can you bring on as a team member? Now, some of you are in here like, some of you may have hit six figures in your business. Some of you may not have hit six figures in your business. Would I have recognized hitting six figures in my business? It doesn't mean that we can now employ people and give them a high salary. There's no way that's going to work. You want to know why? Because then the business is going to go broke. We don't have enough cash reserves yet in order to hire people and give them a high salary, which means that we now need creative solutions in order to bring on new team members. That's something that we show you in the challenge where you're not exhausting your finances, but you have other reasons and resources that you can use to bring on your team members to offload some of your work. If you're in here and you're exhausted from doing everything yourself and you're resonating with this message right now because you're realizing, wait a second, I need a team. How can I bring on a team so I don't feel so tired? Some of you are too tired to even do the marketing. How many of you, by the end of the day, you can't even shoot no videos because you're so exhausted? How many of you, by the end of the day, you have clients, right? But it's kind of hard to give your all to your client and you're praying that they don't ask you a question that you can't think through in the moment because your mind is so tired from making all the decisions all day. It's time to get a team. If you truly want to prepare for overflow, you can't do it yourself. You need a team. So we want to show you how you can put a team together for low cost, how you can use resources in a way that helps you to build this team so that now when you are marketing for your business and you're ready to increase and expand your territory, you will be prepared. How many of you in here is like, yo, that's exactly what I need. Then I want you to go ahead, click the first link in my bio, become a general admissions member for the challenge because you're only going to last but so long doing everything yourself. But now it's time to do it with the team. And we wanna show you how you can bring on a team to help you with your marketing and your sales. So you can truly see that increase and not feel exhausted doing it. Now, here's the thing. I've been promoting general admissions, right? That That is the part of our challenge that is at no cost to you. It's complimentary to you. However, we do have another level to our challenge, which is VIP. VIP is for the business owners who understand the value of working with a coach. The business owners who want special treatment. The business owners who recognize I ain't no ordinary business owner. I want exclusive access so I can ask my questions and be able to receive help specific to my situation. That's what VIP is for. For the business owners who recognize uh, I've tried this before. I tried content before and it only brought me but so far, but something inside of me keeps holding me back and I want to get free from it. If that's you, then you want to join us for VIP. That's the second link in my bio. As a VIP member, you get to join us in a challenge and work directly with me as your coach. We'll speak directly into your life and show you exactly what you need to do in your business so that now when you're releasing your content, you know how to reach your audience and convert them. 
It doesn't matter if you have low views because we show you how to monetize with low views. It doesn't matter if you have a thousand followers because we show you how to convert the followers you already have. Some of you are working overdrive and extra hard. Why? Because you just don't know how to use social media. You know how to use it when it comes to interacting with family and friends. Some of you have even grown your following to 10,000 followers, 20,000 followers. So you know how to use it to grow your following. But when it comes to, when it comes to converting those followers into customers, that's where you get stuck. And that's where we want to help you. That's where we can help you in VIP. So that's the second link in my, in my bio where you can join us for VIP. So how many of you in here are feeling blessed right now? Who's feeling blessed by what it is that we're sharing? You're like, oh my goodness, this is refreshing. This is exactly what I needed. Janae says, I want to do it. I just got to check my schedule. Absolutely, Janae. Hey, Dr. Angela, how you doing? Give me some updates. Yes, Janae says, I'm taking notes. Come on now. I love that you said I'm taking notes. And here's what I share with all my audience, right? Action takers are money makers, not time wasters. You take that note, you take action. That's when you're going to see the shift in your business, right? So you got the notes, take action. Yvette says, yes, I'm be I feel blessed. Uh, thank you so much, Jason. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I want to share this one more. So I know we said two habits that are um, hurting your sales, but I actually came up with three, came up with three habits and I want to share what this third habit is, right? And this third habit is imposter syndrome. We talked a little bit about it. So I said two habits hurting your sales. We talked about perfectionism. We talked about you doing everything yourself. And now the third one is imposter syndrome. Some part of you keep hearing a voice that's telling you that you're not going to be successful. Although you have a track record of success. For some of you, this isn't your first business. You've built six-figure businesses before. You're probably on your second or third business by now. And yet you still keep hearing this voice that tells you this one's not going to be successful. For some of you, you were able to eat, hit 8 to 10K months. Some of you even hit 5K months. You've gotten sales before. And yet you keep hearing a voice that's saying you're not going to be able to get that sale again. You know what that is? That's imposter syndrome. Why is that voice present? One, it's always been present. Ever since you were a kid, that voice has always told you, you're not going to be successful. You're not going to make it. It's not going to work for you. It worked for everyone else, but not for you. On top of hearing that voice, you have examples of it not working for you. Despite how much you have been successful, you keep looking at the past failures and telling yourself, man, it's right. That's true. And so what happens is when it comes time to shooting the content, you're not giving your all. You allow fear to take over. Some of you, when it comes time to go live, you just don't do it. Some of you are comfy in the space that you are in right now where you're already getting the sales. You're already getting the leads. But here's what happens with comfort. If you remain in this space, that means you don't grow. You remain stagnant. And eventually things start to shift where you no longer get those referrals. You know that word of mouth marketing no longer works for you. The clients start to slow down and you find your business in a downward spiral and you're wondering why. And that's because when it was time for you to shift and go to the next level, you remained constant. You remain comfy. And so what has happened now, you've allowed imposter syndrome to convince you that you can't get to the next level. Yes, Dr. A Dr. Angela says y'all have to do the challenge. She did the challenge last month and saw a complete shift in what she was selling. Dr. Angela is an, an amazing cosmetic dentist. And she helps people to upgrade her smile, upgrade their smiles. That's what she kept telling them. But as we were in the challenge, what we found out is that she helps men and women be confident in their smiles. So that no matter where they go, they will feel confident. What a huge shift. What a huge shift, right? 
Yep, Janae says, you have to be uncomfortable to grow. You cannot grow in comfortability. This is true. This is very, very true. And so you want to get outside of this comfort zone. So I want to share um, another one of my clients. I don't think she's still here right now, but this is Christina. Christina is a full-time employee and she full-time runs her business. When she first started working with me, she only had 474 followers. But she also had this voice that was telling her, mm, it's not going to work for you. It ain't going to work. And so as we began working with each other, guess what happened? As she saw the increase in her following, as she saw the uh, clarity in her messaging, that imposter syndrome started to break off of her. Did she have moments of like, I don't know if I could do this? Absolutely. But here's what happened when she kept going. She went from 474 followers to 41,000 followers. She went from a couple of people on her email list to over 300 in a, a week or two weeks on her email list, just growing. She went from making sales here or there to thousands of dollars each month. Her, her, her calendar being booked up, her calendar being booked up. I mean, I've sent people her way and she's told me, oh, I'm all booked for the month of April. So tell them to schedule for May. That's overflow, baby. Why? Because she went from just talking to a couple of people to talking to so much thousands of people with her content. She went from getting referrals to now her audience seeing her and her being able to increase her reach. So now more people are seeing her, which means she's making, she's bringing in more leads and making more dollars. But she was only able to do that when she stopped listening to the voice of imposter and started listening to the voice of inspiration. That voice of inspiration propelled her to keep reaching her people. Now, as much as I shared her success just now, the best comments that she received were from the people who said, thank you so much for showing up. I've been looking for you for a long time. I really, really needed you. That's where some of you desire to be where people are so grateful that they've met you. People are so grateful that what you have for them has transformed their life. If you're a coach, your program has transformed their life. If you're a business owner, you're offering a service, your service has transformed their life. But the question is, what happens if they never see you? What happens if they don't get to see how you can help them, would they still be blessed? Probably not. One of the things that me and Christina talk about is how if I never got started, she wouldn't have been able to reach her people. She wouldn't be able to be a chain in the link to help her people. Now, here's the thing. I talked about her getting 300 leads in one week, 41,000 followers. What would that look like for your business? If you got 300 leads in one week, what would that look like for your business? Some of you are like, what? 300 leads? I'm just accustomed to getting two leads, right? We've had clients who's come to us. They've gotten 60,000 leads from one video. Now, some of you are like 60,000 leads. You, I was just trying to figure out what 300 leads will look like. But this is the effects of using social media marketing and not just relying on word of mouth marketing or getting referrals. You being able to put your content out in a way where it expands your reach so that now people can see you. Yep, Janae says that would be an abundance of blessings. Let me tell you what happens when we're able to get 300 uh, leads in a week. That means that we're converting at least 30% of those people, which means now my team is being paid, right? I'm going on vacation. And we get to serve more people. What does that mean for your business? For Christina, it meant that she got to go, go to Portugal. When she first signed on with me, she said, hey, I want to make money so I can go on my trip. And she did that, surpassed it. Now she's on to the next goal. That's what we help you to do. So if you're a business owner in here, entrepreneur, coach, you're selling a high ticket. It could be a high ticket program or a high ticket service. If that's you, right? And you want to know how to take your business to the next level, 
how you can 10x your lead generation, increase your sales, then go ahead and join us in the challenge. You can select the second link in my bio to become a VIP member so that we can work with your business directly. It was in VIP that Christina asked me for a strategy to increase her leads. We gave her the strategy and she got 30 leads the next day. Why? Because she took action right away. So if you're in here and you're like, I need this, this live has blessed me, I've never heard content spoken this way before, then that means you were called to us. That means you're tired of the same old strategies you keep on hearing. People telling you, oh, post three or four times a day. We're not 22. I know I'm 36 and a lot of my clients are over 40. So being able to post three or four times a day can be exhausting without a team. Right? I know some of you have heard things like, hop on this trend. These people are blowing up from this trend. And then you've hopped on a trend and you didn't see no blow up. Actually, it looked like your following went down from hopping on that trend. If you're tired of playing the social media game where you have been doing this for months, putting out content and not seeing the results you want, and you want a strategy that produces evergreen results, which means you post a video today, it doesn't just work today, but it works a year from now. Then go ahead, click the second link in my bio, become a VIP member in the challenge. Let us help you because you are called to us. You weren't here by accident. You didn't sit through this live for the last 45 minutes being blessed this way just to be like, oh, that just so happened. That was a coincidence. I don't believe in coincidences. You were sent here. Because just like I told Janae to pray over her videos, I pray over all of mine, including my lives. And I ask God to send the people who are in need. Send the people who are exhausted and they're ready to take their business to the next level, but they just need a mentor to do it. And you've been sent. So if you're ready to join us and take your business to the next level so that you're seeing the 10K months, the 20K months, the 30K months in your business, then go ahead and join us in the challenge by clicking the second link to become VIP. Now, the challenge is only for high ticket coaches. So you're selling a high ticket coaching program and you're using Instagram or TikTok to take your business to the next level, but you're not sure what content to create that's gonna speak to your ideal customers in order to increase your leads or sales. So if you're a coach, fitness coach, relationship coach, mindset coach, life coach, business coach, you're a coach, and you have a high ticket program, it's 2,500 or more, and you want to increase your leads and your sales, but you're not sure what content to create, come and join us in the challenge. The challenge is also for the experienced business owner that you understand the power of video. You have a wealth of knowledge, but it is hard to get that knowledge into a one minute video. So you find yourself struggling to speak to your audience and to relate to them. They come on and join us. So you've been in business for one to three years now. You have a proven um, program that can transform lives or proven service that can transform lives. So you've helped clients before. You have clients now, but you're ready to increase that. You just don't know how to get what's in your head into video in a relatable way so that more people can see you. We want to help you. And the challenge is also for the serial entrepreneur where this is not your first job. This is not your first business. You started other businesses. You had your first business hit six figures. Your second business hit six figures. It's successful. Now you're on to your next business and you want to introduce um, coaching service or you want to introduce online marketing, social media marketing or digital marketing into your business because you know that you've been called to social media and you're ready to make an impact. However, when you're showing up, you see barely anyone showing up. You see barely anyone um, commenting on your posts. You see barely any views. And it's frustrating because you know you have a calling on your life. You know that you are called to reach more than the people you are reaching now. And it's like no matter what you've been doing, you just can't figure it out. For months, you're posting videos. For months, you're going live. And you just can't figure out how can I reach the people that I'm called to reach. We want to help you. We know how frustrating it is to be trying Instagram and TikTok for months 
and not getting results. So what we do is we help you get results in as little as five days. It's a bold promise. It's a bold promise, which means that we only work with the business owners who are actually in business. So if you're just starting out, this challenge isn't going to work for you, right? Because we're working with business owners where they're already in business and you're ready to increase. You want to 10x your leads, you want to increase your sales. So if that sounds like you and you're like, that's what I need, click the first link in my bio, schedule a call with me and my team so that now you can join us in a challenge or... If you're the business owner who wants to treat yourself to VIP, click the second link in my bio and let us serve you with excellence, right? So today we talked about two habits hurting your sales. We actually went into three habits and those habits was you're trying to be perfect. So perfectionism is taking over. The second habit was you're doing everything yourself. You're running your house, you're running your marriage, you're running your business all by yourself and it's exhausting. And the third habit was imposter syndrome is trying to destroy you. Right. Once you shift your mindset around these things, guess what? You'll create the content that will help you to be seen. And when people see you, they pay you. So tomorrow we'll be back again at 645 a.m. Eastern. We go live Wednesdays and Thursdays at 645 a.m. Eastern. So tomorrow we're talking about three essential video strategies to scale your sales. So three essential video strategies to scale your sales. I have a method that can help you to scale your sales with just three videos. That's exactly what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. So you all have a wonderful day. It was a, a blessing serving you all today.